Joining us now is White House Press Secretary Kaylee McEnany, uh, fresh from the Oval Office. Uh, great to see you, Kaylee. I haven't had the chance Good to tell you. you in person. Congratulations on your, you, uh, your new post. Uh, so uh, we're delighted for you and for the president and for the country. Uh, give us a sense of uh, how, uh, how this is being received in the White House. We heard uh, the president talk about a building block. Uh, and uh, Anthony Fauci talking about uh, he, it, uh, what a positive move it is, uh, as well as Dr. Mark Rupp at the University of Nebraska. And then we saw the market explode uh, with optimism about what it means uh, f about getting America back to work. Uh, y your reaction? Yeah, you know, remdesivir is something that the president talked about um, as expressing optimism for. He's talked about it for weeks, and it's so encouraging to have Dr. Fauci say that remdesivir has proven to be positive in a controlled clinical trial with placebos. Uh, so to have this come out, to have this great news, um, it gives Americans a lot of comp confidence that, you know, we've got a hold of this virus. Um, we're looking towards reopening the country. We're doing so safely, and we have this great news today. Day, uh, to really undergird all of that. And uh, we also had some uh, bad news, but it wasn't as bad, if I may say, as many had expected early on. Uh, we were talking about a slump of uh, less than 5% of the GDP. So it's, that's tremendously uh, uh, you know, damaging to the economy, but not nearly as bad as many had expected. Uh, we saw a big rally today on remdesivir in the hope that it will be a, an effective antiviral against the drug. Uh, the president is starting to, it seems to me, start uh, starting to see a window open here to get this economy in places in certain states uh, open again. What is the mood there now on that? Uh, let me take your temperature on uh, what, the, what the mood is there about getting that done soon. Yeah, first, let me address those GDP numbers. You know, this president was faced with a choice, and he's talked about how hard that choice was before when someone came into the Oval Office, the experts came in and said, you need to shut down the economy, and it, it took him back, and he was faced with the decision, and he made the right one, faced with the prospect of losing 2.2 million American lives uh, and temporarily shutting down the economy. The answer was easy. But now we're at yeah, this no. place where, because yeah. of the record speed of this president, we are looking to reopen the economy. You have over 30 states. States who have put in place plans to do this. Uh, some states already reopening certain sectors. Uh, we're at this place where America can start to reopen and America's workers can look forward to getting back to work. And, and again, he made the right decision in uh, giving governors a big say about what's going to happen in their states, working with them constructively and positively. I, I want to get also a reaction from you on these polls and uh, give, give us, if you will, a sense of the president's uh, thinking as he looks at these new polls coming out. Most Americans uh, absolutely support him in the pause on uh, immigration into this country during the biggest crisis, I believe, the country's faced since World War II. Uh, it also uh, supporting him on wanting to limit trade with China, wanting to put restrictions on trade with China once this pandemic is resolved. Uh, your reactions to those uh, very supportive uh, poll results. Yeah, you know, this president's been tough on China from the very beginning. He had the courage to take on China, and it ended with the phase one China deal, which has been an extraordinary result for farmers, for the American worker. Um, but beyond that, you mentioned those immigration numbers, and that's so interesting, Lou. That poll that came out showed 49% of Democrats support the pause on immigration, seven in 10 independents, and a majority in every single age demographic supports a pause on immigration at this time. Uh, it's really common sense at a time when you have a pandemic and Americans are looking to go back to work um, and are unemployed, some of them, uh, to put a pause on immigration, to put the American worker first. And that's exactly what this president done, has done. And I'm not surprised that he has such support for that move. And of course, that goes to the poll results as well on uh, China, who 70% uh, of those surveyed in the Just the News Rasmussen poll want trade restrictions with China. Uh, the president says that uh, he expressed his displeasure today uh, with the Chinese government. Uh, it, uh, he's, he seems to be getting a little tired of their nonsense.
Yeah, Lou, you know, this president has said that there will be a time to assess everything that's gone on. Uh, he's displeased with the fact that China, he says, could have, and he's right about this, uh, could have shared the information about this virus far sooner. The WHO covered for them, and it put American lives at risk. So he's very unhappy with that, rightfully so, and he's yeah. expressed that continually. Well, actually, they, Kaylee, if I may say, they killed Americans. Uh, by not warning, they killed uh, people all over the world. Uh, this isn't something where there was a sort of a delayed or somehow broken causal chain. This is a direct result of their refusal to warn the world when they knew what was going on in their country. Uh, if I, uh, Kaylee, I know that uh, you're busy as you can be. We appreciate you taking the time to, to rush over and uh, get in front of our cameras. And again, congratulations to you. Great to see you. Uh, Thank you so in much, that Lou. Post. Thanks so much.